Amplify. In this week's episode of Amplified, we'll start off with Amplify's brand new student body president for the 2005-2006 school year. Her name is Valerie Petroff. Valerie's presidency is a sure to be a promising one and exciting for all you sophomores, juniors, and seniors. <clears throat> and for and for more on this story, our very own Nancy and Regina got a chance to catch up to her for a quick chat. Exclusive, exclusive, a world premiere, a world premiere, a world premiere. Valerie Ketchup, your 2005-2006 student body president. Hello, Valerie. How are you? Doing great. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> how do you feel about being president? I don't know. It's a little... It's pretty exciting. I'm really ready for next year. It's been fun. Tell us something about yourself. How long have you been in student council? I've been in student council since freshman year. I've been through all of the pep assemblies, everything like that. I've I've been a in a lot of events. I hosted this year's talent show. I was the mascot at the last pep assembly. I sang the national anthem my freshman year. And yeah, I've just been involved with a lot of stuff lately. Okay. Why was it so important for you to run for president? Um, it's not like it's been like a lifelong dream for me or anything to be a president, but just this past couple of years I've been thinking about making changes on campus and people are always talking about how we need new and improved and different things to do around campus. And I would just really like to be the one in charge of doing that and being really organized. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the other girls who obviously didn't win? I would like to give them kudos because they were really good competition and I think all in all everybody did really good this year. I mean, I've never seen so many posters and stuff on the walls. So I think this year's competition was pretty tough. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the student body about next year? Guys, it's going to be a wild ride. Like, it's going to be so much fun. Things are going to be different next year. So I just want you guys to sit back and relax. It's going to be fun. Thank you, Valerie. Attention all juniors and seniors, this year's prom is going to be held at the Manning House on April 30th. The powwow starts at 8 p.m. and the festivities end at midnight. Also, prom is supposed to be a fun and enjoyable experience, so please be safe in whatever powwows you get yourself into. <clears throat> our next story is about some of Vampire's tightest rides. So straight to you from our very own field reporters, Mallory, Crystal, Johnny, and Casey, comes a story about the dopest ride straight out of Amphi. So sit back, relax, and let your hair blow in the breeze to some of these rides. <laughs> What's your name? Rebecca. Um, how long have you been driving your car? For about a month now. And what kind of car is it again? It's a 2005 Ford Mustang. And when did you get it? About a, about a month ago. <laughs> um, how much was it? About 20000 Thank you. Hey, I'm Dan Acampa. Cool, what kind, of, what kind of car are you driving? This is a 3000 GTSO. What year? 94. Cool. How much does this car cost? 9,000. Kelly Blue Book is still running about 11 or 12, so... Sweet. Um, how long have you been driving this car? Well, I just got this car about three weeks ago, so... Not too long. Alright, good deal. Alright, thanks for your time. Alright, guys, we're gonna go for a little cruise. Thanks for your time. You can check it out for yourself um, at the Game and Snoop Dogg concert at the Cricket Pavilion in Phoenix. Um, ticket, tickets start at $20, and that is on May 19th. Also at the Pavilion, the Honda Civic Tour, uh, including Maroon 5, 
on May 11th to get started at 1850. Doesn't sound like much else is going on in Tucson after spring fling. Man, that was a blast, but boy, did it put a hole in my cheddar stacks. <clears throat> and on to a, another story. During Ames testing, about 350 and 5 freshmen um, did community service. There was 13 work sites around the northwest Tucson area. Trash, cleanup, painting, and planting trees were also included in the, included in the service. <laughs> in two hours on Tuesday, about 700 community service hours were logged by the Amphi students. Some students even made Channel 9's live weather broadcast. So we're going to go ahead and congratulate those uh, freshmen because they did a really super job. Also, there's a lot of great positive feedback in the area, especially from the community. Major League Baseball has started up again this season, and your Arizona Diamondbacks are 5-3 and three in their young season. The off-season acquisitions of outfielder Sean Green from the Dodgers and third baseman Troy Gloss from the Angels have proved to be a major offensive help to a team that finished almost last in all offensive categories last season. <clears throat> Seniors, we have less than 30 days of school left. Yeah! Woo! So make sure you make it the best month of your life. Have fun. Don't lose focus. Make sure everything is taken care of. Um, I'm sure you have a good idea of what needs to be done. <clears throat> Grades, books, etc. It's all cool. In our next video segment, we have a tribute to the man who has helped keep Ampi safe for over 40 years. His name is Bob. This is what Ampi stands for, Bob. So in this tribute to the Bob, we're going to show you the man behind the purple Elks jacket. This story was done by our very own Muffy kids themselves, Dustin and Sean. I'm Sean Polito, and uh, I'm here with Bob. Um, Bob, what do you actually do here at school? I have a variety of duties here at the school. In the morning, I welcome the students to school with a hearty handshake and a friendly smile. After the buses leave, I close the gates here at the West Gate and also at Prince Road. And then after that, I go into the hallways or breezeway. Have you had any bad experiences during your jobs? Well, not too many. Nothing that would be worthy of mention at this time. What do you have planned for the future, Bob? First of all, is stay alive. Uh, after that, probably ending up my inglorious career here as a fly high. Well, that's good. Do you have anything else to say to the student body? Well, only that I have said in the paper, and I firmly believe that the Amphi students are one of the best students in Tucson, if not the best. We appreciate that, Bob. Boy, Bob, what a good guy. He is very cute. And let me add that Sean looked ever so cute with that hair blowing square in the breeze. <laughs> Next up, we got a teacher story. We got a chance to catch up with uh, Miss Reynolds and Doc himself. And these, the reason why we got these teachers was because um, they're a good tribute to our community, and they're also favorited by a lot of students. So we're going to run that clip for you. They, you know, they really have helped us out over the years. So this is kind of a thank you for saying thank you. Doc, how much, boy? Yeah. So why don't you uh, kind of give us a little rundown on what it is exactly you do here at Amphi? Well, uh, well, first of all, thank you for this opportunity to um, speak to the uh, student body. I teach English, and I um, help with the uh, girls' tennis team. Well, I am a block teacher, so I teach eight different blocks, and they're different 
um, business classes. We teach web page design and desktop publishing and then intro to business one and two and free enterprise. That's cool. <laughs> uh, can you kind of just give us a little rundown on uh, kind of where the uh, history of the doc started? Kind of a little quick history lesson on you personally, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, where I grew up, and um, I attended college at UCLA and USC. Yay! And um, we moved out here in 1999, and I started working here at MFI um, about five months after the move. That's cool. LA, USC. Well, we want to take this opportunity to thank Doc and uh, catch you, students. Can you uh, tell us when your uh, career here at Amphi started? Two years ago. And I was actually, after college, I went and worked in industry for 10 years before I came to teach. And I decided I was going to go get a master's in education and then come teach at Amphi. Well, we're awfully excited to have you here. Oh, well, thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. Well. Did you uh, maybe kind of give us a quick little background, you know, where you're from, if you don't mind, you know, kind of where the the where Mrs. Started. Yeah, the Mrs. Reynolds story started? <laughs> well, I grew up in Montana in a small town outside of Billings, and I got my undergraduate degree at the University of Montana, and right out of college, I ended up marrying a guy I met in sixth grade, Marty Reynolds, and he is in the Air Force, and he's a C-130 pilot, so he's stationed out at davis Monthan Air Force Base. So we've moved around many, many different times and then ended up in Tucson here. That's cute. Oh, you know, cute. stick with your love in sixth grade. <laughs> you might marry him. You just never know, you know, who you're going to marry. You could have hooked up in fifth grade. Yeah. You just never know. You never know. Well, I want to thank you, Ms. Reynolds, oh, for you, taking the time. No problem. Thank, thank you, students. <laughs> Now this applies to every student. With all humor aside, let me run some game on you about safety. There's a very serious issue that I must tackle and, <clears throat> and that is safety. Decision making as young adults is very important, especially with the end of the year arriving so quickly and prom is right around the corner in two weeks. More than 50% of all high school students have tried a drug or mind altering substance including alcohol. I know that we're not all perfect, and neither were our parents. <clears throat> so this is an ongoing issue. Issues like drinking and driving are risks that we take every weekend. For example, if you're put in a situation uh, like this, where you or a friend are thinking of getting behind a wheel after con consuming or taking drugs, um, just think of the safest way out of this situation. Nobody wants to hear of a loss in the community, especially from a friend or fellow classmate. So whatever you do, Stay I know safe, we're not guys. all perfect, but just try to avoid the whole situation, you know, period. Common sense will take you a long way. Yeah. Listen to your moms, for crying out loud. Well, that wraps it up for all of us here at Amplified. I'm the student, Ryan. And I'm Vega. And you stay classy. And thanks for stopping by. But most of all, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's the beat beat, folks. Classy. Weird. <laughs>